Everybody in the house is sick this morning. I went through and sanitized everything with, but now I wanna work on like organizing and getting some of these groceries put away. I got some stuff to um, organize the food, like some containers and um, all this stuff. I've been baking like a lot, so I really want to get all of my baking supplies just organized and put away nice and neatly so when I go to bake everything's kind of in one spot and labeled and it's just like easier for me because I've literally been baking something like every day homemade bread in fact I'm getting ready to use some old bananas and just make a quick batch of banana bread too so uh, anyway that's what I'm going to be working on is getting this place cleaned up organized um, working on the top of the fridge right now that's kind of what I was already doing when I um, was in here so I'm gonna finish cleaning up there and I'll just go from there Yes, guys, my house was just a complete disaster. And if you're new to my channel, I post real life messes. Um, I turn the camera on and I just film it and I go. Uh, that's how my channel is. Whatever I need to do or get done, I just take you guys along with me. This week, things were especially bad, especially in the kitchen, because we were in the beginning stages of having COVID, and it was just, it was just challenging. If you've had COVID, you know, and I have four kids, and my husband is disabled, so my help around the house is definitely limited, and things just, as you can see, got extremely piled up. <laughs> so I just needed to get this place cleaned up, and then I was able to focus on the organizing, 
Um, I just, you know how it is. You can't do anything if the house is a mess. You can't organize um, because organization kind of brings its own mess. So that's where I'm starting. I'm just getting everything cleaned and then I'm gonna get to the organization part of the video. When I woke up on this morning, I had a grocery pickup and I picked up a couple of these um, humidifiers and I set this one up in the kitchen and I had some in the bedrooms. And I had also gone around the house and just disinfected everything, even though there was, you know, it was mess and blankets and pillows everywhere. Anything that was being touched um, or it was a high traffic area. I took the disinfectant and just cleaned it. All of the kitchen cabinets I had cleaned and disinfected all of those when I woke up. And you know how it is. Like once your kids get sick or something's in the house, you kind of go in that crazy mode and just start disinfecting everything. I know a girl who's so fine. She's running laps around my heart. She's more than perfect, she's not the type to go play a part She came and killed my whole life and just like Mike Tyson Now I'm here seeing stars I could take all of my time just trying to describe her I don't know where to start All my life I knew she's my baby I can't hide it, making me crazy Sometimes I close my eyes and dream about when we... When you're filming yourself clean, it is a little challenging sometimes because there's so many people running around. I always have Chopper following me and under my feet. And in this particular moment, the girls were in the tub and they both ran out and Mona was completely naked. <laughs> and I turned around and I saw her and I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, Mona, you've got to get out in front of the camera. And of course she went directly to the camera and tried to jump up and down. It was so funny. Um, I love her little tush, but I do not want to share it on YouTube. When I first started my channel, I had accidentally left a little hiney shot in one of my videos. I had no idea it was on there. It happened so fast because I had it sped up and somebody like screamed at me. <laughs> <laughs> on like in the comments and I felt so bad because it's obviously not something that you would ever want to leave in um, one of your videos you know so I had deleted it fixed it and you know just made sure I got it out of there but that's definitely one thing that I have to watch out for and I almost missed it in this video because it did happen so quickly but I have remembered that she popped up in the video, um, straight out of the tub, all excited and dancing around with her little hiney out. So anyway, that's just one of the little things that happens behind the scenes. Um, I'm sure you guys all know what it's like. If you're a mom, you're a woman, you're a grandma, anything you know, those little ones love to walk around without clothes on.
I bought these containers off of Amazon. Uh, anytime I shop on Amazon, I just like <laughs> I go through all of the reviews and I try to buy the best product. And so these are the containers that I found. They're a little smaller, but I knew that going into the purchase because of the reviews and the space that I have in my kitchen, in the pantry, in the cabinets is small. So I didn't think it was gonna be a problem and it wasn't. So I wanted to make sure I sanitized all of these. So I'm washing everything and I'm going to let them sit out on the counter overnight and dry because at this point it had gotten pretty late. I, I didn't want to just put food into these containers. I had to wash them and I really wanted to do it right. The easiest way for me to clean all of this and get it done quickly was to fill up the sink with soapy water and then I let them soak in there for you know just a second while I washed everything and then once I scrubbed it I just laid it to the side and then I went through and rinsed everything at once versus having the water run the whole time and doing one at a time I felt like it was just going to take way too long so that's how I kind of hand wash dishes I'm not a big fan of hand washing dishes I will shove everything into the dishwasher as much as possible before I'll hand wash it um, but again this I had to I had to hand wash these the next day and I'm getting ready to organize and fill all these containers I purchased these two containers specifically for flour so I knew that was going to be used for that and then the way I did the rest of it was kind of fill everything up with food and made sure that was the container I was going to use for that food um, and everything was going to fit in there and then once I got them all filled up I went through and laid labeled all of them using uh, my Cricut machine me 
So a few months ago, I started baking uh, my own bread. I decided I just wanted to do it myself. It's healthier. I know the ingredients that are in there and my kids love bread. My husband loves bread. I love bread. It's, I try not to eat it, but obviously I've been eating a lot of it since I started baking. But anyway, I needed to get all of my tools and supplies organized into one space. I kind of had things put into different cabinets and kind of all over the kitchen so this allowed me to put all of my baking materials together that way when I go to bake I have everything in one spot a lot of times I'll wake up in the morning and I'll start putting some dough together I'll throw something in the bread machine I like to hand make the bread but I do have a bread machine for days that I just want to throw something quickly together so this, that, you know, having everything organized just allows me to do it so much faster and be more functional in my bread making. Spent days and nights right here thinking about the meaning of life and love and why my heart is beating. The moments where I find my point of view Are the moments where I think of you Sitting by the window, I see you at the stairs Can I meet you in the lobby? Do I even dare? I waste all of my time, so what's another day? Will we even remember this? Is it too late? I'm not ready to make a move. My heart's unsteady every time I think of you. So I'm not ready. Call me a fool. You know that when you hear these words, they will ring true. Cause I'm not Let me know what you guys are doing and what area of the house that you want to organize yourself or something that you want to see on my channel. I know that I have been gone for a while. We all got COVID and it just, like I said, it just took me some time to get things back together. It's life is hard and sometimes you just need to chill and take a break. And that's kind of what I did, but I'm back and I've missed all of you so much and i am hoping to post on wednesdays and saturdays uh, i don't want to make any promises because you never know life seems to happen a lot to me so you know you know how it is if you guys have been following me for a long time you know my life is absolutely insane and there's just always something waiting around the corner for me and my family so um, that's just how it is i accept it and i just try to move through it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed the organization and I will see you guys in the next video.